Alright, welcome back to my video and today we're gonna be installing Arc 4 for the PSP. This thing is a major update compared to the last two outdated custom firmwares for the PSP. I mean, we're talking about custom launchers, updated recovery, updated VHS, VSH, or anything like that. And because this PSP is already installed with Infinity, we can just install the CFW. But just to be safe, because I'm just buying it secondhand, I'm going to install the stock firmware first and then reinstall Infinity. Please note that this video isn't a tutorial, so if you want to follow me, you're at your own risk because heck, I even soft bricked my own PSP. So you'd be better off if you read the ARC4 guide. For the love of God, just please do that. So what we're gonna do is open up Google and search for PS Punk and click the first link and then you open the ARC install guide and download ARC. I also gonna be downloading the original firmware because I want to do this with no bloat that the previous owner has in this PSP. Plug in the PSP and copy the files into the corresponding folder and then I am going to downgrade this PSP well not downgrading it but this is one of the mistakes that I made. Uh, I didn't follow up the exact instructions so I <laughs> fucked it up right here so yeah. So I don't know what did I do to this PSP after that because I did a battery mod on this PSP and I thought oh maybe it was the UMD that making this error but it's not so yeah you gotta read and do research on your own to better know the PSP first and then you start to do things so yeah I didn't do exactly that and that's where I fucked up and this is where I got it right for the first time. I installed the original firmware and I installed Infinity. Well, actually scratch that, I'm installing Arc 4. This is the live version. It will not be remain after reboot, so yeah. And then here is me installing Infinity. And then this is the point where I effed it up because when I open Infinity again, it will just shut off and yeah and then this is the point where I just installed the full version of Arc without actually installing the actual loader of Arc first into Infinity and this is where I actually effed it up because when I turn off the PSP it will just not turn on it's turning on again look at that thank you Mr. Mario oh my god yeah the I honestly think that it was heartbreak until I watched this video and says that it is soft break. So yeah, I tried that route. So yeah, it's all fine now. This is that kind of time. Yeah. So after that thing break, I did install Arc in the correct order. So I will just put up the correct order right there in the video so you won't be confused by what am I saying so yeah. And now you might be asking what the hell does it do besides just launching a game from the launcher? Well to be honest I don't know. There's the custom launcher, there's an easy access for the plugin manager so yeah there's just a lot of options being baked into the xmb instead of the vsh menu so yeah i think that is a pretty good improvement over the stock firmware or the last two cfw so yeah maybe that's it for the video in the next video i will be replacing the shell of the psp as well as adding usb type c and bluetooth module so yeah Stay tuned and I will see you next time. Bye.